Have you ever faced this kind of issue with your drawing? Whenever we try to print it, you might have seen the lines are either very thick, thin, and it could be anything that you didn't like it. Hello there everyone, welcome back to Engineering Pritam. Today we are going to explore a fantastic feature in PTC Creo called Pen Table. Understanding the pen table is crucial for creating a detailed professional engineering drawing. So first let's talk about what a pen table is and why it is so important. A pen table in PTG Creo allow you to customize the appearance of your drawing by setting different line weights, color and style. This level of customization help you to ensure that your drawing are clear, precise and meet industry norm. The pen table settings are typically located in config.profile that you will see in upcoming section. So let's see how we can do that. For that, let's jump into our computer screen. And there we go, guys. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to go to file and then option. And then here, let's go to configuration editor. Now to get started, we need to make some changes in our config.pro. So let's start doing that one by one. Let's click here on add. Now here we need to type PDF and let's click on find. Now let's go down here and here you will see the setting which says that PDF use pen table. Let's change its default value to yes. Let's click on add change. Now the another setting that we need to do here is we need to type use and then underscore and probably we can also click on find. Sometimes when we do not type the spelling correctly, we may not able to find that setting. Now from this list, we can find the second setting, which is related to plotter pens. And there we go. This setting also uh, we need to change, which enable you to create eight plotter pens instead of four pens. So again, I'm gonna click here and let's click on yes and click on add change. Now we also require to locate our pen table file for that. Let's again click on add and then we need to type pen and then um, probably I will again search it and there we go. So this is the setting that we need to look for which specify the default location of pen table file. Now let's click on browse and then here I'm going to locate my pen table file which exists in Creo standard and here we have got this file and not to worry guys i'm gonna also show you how we can create this pen table file now i'm gonna select it and then i'm gonna make add change and then i'm gonna close now again let's export this configuration to save it permanently and since i don't have access to save this file here but i will do it i will um actually save it here in my desktop now I'm going to click OK and then now copy this config.pro from desktop and then um, let me click on C drive and here in program file we will see PTC folder and inside we need to go to Creo and then we may have different version. Now here we need to go inside common file then text and now let's press Ctrl and V and then replace the existing config.pro. Now let me close this. Now let's talk about the content inside config.pro. So this is the file that you need to locate and need to place. So let me open Creo standard. Now I would say config.pro is very easy to create. We just need to make a right click and then create a new text document. Now you can name it whatever you want. And then we just need to locate the way we did. Now let me type here table.pnt and then we can save it with PNT extension. Now again we need to make a right click and we can open it with a notepad. Now it is very important guys to understand what goes inside pentable.pnt and to understand it in a better way I'm gonna share with you one PTC Creo parametric help page that will help you to understand what does the different pen numbers mean and before that let me also show you the different different kind of pen tables available so here in internet we can see that um, you know this is one pen table and then here we can see we have defined the thickness of pen one pen two 
and so till pen 8 and then we also have defined the color of it so in this way guys we are defining thickness and color of pen table now let's also go to the official guide and here we can see we can also see one of example pen table which also talks about the same which is pen color thickness and then style now let me open any pen table file and we also will understand this table which will give you a very deep understanding of how the pen table work so here um, let me place them side by side okay so i'm gonna open this already existing pen table and there we go so here let's talk about what does this pen one represent pen one represent here geometry curve manufacturing volume quilt pre-selection highlight and so on similarly in case of mapping it represent the visible geometry cross section cutting plane arrows and text and so on similarly in case of pen 2 here we can see so these are the following thing which are mapped to pen 2 similarly pen 3 represent the hidden line pen 4 represent the primary highlight selected and secondary selected pen 5 represents sheet metal color entities 6 represent the sketch curve and so on all we need to do is we need to define the values of these pens so here we can see in the same format we have defined the thickness color and style of these pens so you can also define them based on your requirement so here let me actually copy this and we have created this table.pnt we simply can actually place these values or paste these values here and the same content i'm gonna also provide you in the description of this video from there also you can directly create this pen table file and can save in your system and as we saw before we can also locate it and then again these values here are in inches and it's not mandatory to have these values in inches as we saw here in google image search the values can also be defined in centimeter and even in millimeter so it is totally up to us you can also explore google and can see the values are being defined in different different format now let's close this and i'm gonna close this one as well now as we have defined our pen table file and did all the settings what now i will do is i will try to print the same document again now let's go again here on save as and let's click on export let's do some settings let's click here on setting and then make sure that we have enabled this use pen table now by enabling this this will make sure that your pen table custom settings are being utilized now let's click ok now i'm gonna click on export and then let's click ok and there we go now here we can see the object line is thinner as we have defined you can also try and play with the values of this pen table to see the changes and let's try to change some of these values and let's see what difference we will see now let's again click on export and then we have already enabled pdf use pen table and this time there we go it looked very ugly but you get the gist how we can customize based on our requirement that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to engineering pritam to follow more such videos related to engineering topics and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye